Before we get into today's video, guys, if you could please just give this video a thumbs up. Check out my Patreon and my Twitter. And yeah, have a nice day. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today's video is going to be basically how to turn any sound in Nexus into an ARP. Now, I feel like this video is going to be handy because these are some things that I've always been trying to, I try to do for a long time. Where, because Nexus has awesome, an awesome bank of presets, right? That's why Nexus is such a popular BST. It's because the noises in here are just already so nice. So, let's just say, for example, you've got yourself an awesome pad that you like, but you've wanted, you really want to turn it into an ARP. So, how do you do that? Let's have a look at this one. Okay, cool. So we obviously all know the the up. There's a little up sequencer in here, right? So if you just turn this on, you hold down the note, a chord. Right, you can change the the length to make this yeah, so you have more control. So I usually like to go in eight, and then you can click up here to change the um, pitch of the notes. You can change the speed. You can make this go down. You can alter it. All that cool stuff, right? But the way that I, what if you manual, manually want to throw in your ARP? You want to create an ARP manually, right? So. What you need to do, what becomes important in this part is most of the time you should be turn off your effects, right? So turn off your reverb, most of the time delay is on, you can turn that off as well. What you want to be pay attention to is the amp modifier. And more specifically these four knobs right here. Okay? So what you want to do is what makes these these pads so spacey and big and open is the release and the decay. A lot of the time the sustain as well. Right? So let's have a listen to the chord. Right? So I'm holding down a chord on the keypad on the keyboard. See that with the release it just um, determines how quick the chord then ends. So you bring this down a little bit and then same way you get to the K, right? Now it's becoming more of a type of, of a stab. See, so that's, that sounds cool. So now, if we come into the piano roll, right? We now have, we are now probably able to make an ARP manually, which I love doing. I love making my ARPs like this. Yeah, see, there you go. And then, bang, I'll duplicate that one octave up. Maybe another octave down, don't know. So you get the gist, guys. I mean, you just have to play with these four knobs here and you can seriously have, you know, you can make any sound into an ARP. See, I think that's cool. I like to do this all the time. You know, you chuck it into a mix track, you can freaking chuck your delays on. Reverb. See what I mean, guys? Just as simple as that. Four knobs, any sound in Nexus, into an art. Hope you enjoyed.